Now in a special news series, the BBC is looking at time zones and the way they shape our lives. Theoretically, the world should be divided into 24 main time zones, each differing from the last one by an hour. But because of political and social changes, though, they've become increasingly irregular. But however erratic they can be, they need a starting point, a way of measuring time, as Rebecca Morell reports. For centuries, we used the Earth's rotation to measure time. And we did that by looking at the stars at places like the historic Royal Observatory at Greenwich in London. But astronomy no longer cuts it when it comes to counting the seconds. Well, by the 1950s, it was realised that the Earth itself isn't a perfect timekeeper. It speeds up and slows down unpredictably in its rotation. So, scientists came up with a solution, the atomic clock. These clocks use the tiny but very regular changes in cesium atoms. Well, any sort of clock has to be based on some form of oscillation that repeats regularly over time. So in a traditional pendulum clock, you have the swinging pendulum to keep track of time. In an atomic clock, it's the oscillations of the atoms. Atomic clocks only lose one second every 30 million years, but just one of them by itself isn't enough. In fact, there are 350 atomic clocks dotted all around the world. That's because as precise as any one of them is, there are still tiny variations in the measurements they make. Every single Every clock single tells a slightly different time. So the data from all of these is brought together and averaged out to give us the single most accurate measure of time possible. And that takes place here at the International Bureau of Weights and Measures on the outskirts of Paris. This is the place by which the world sets its watch. Dr. Felicitas Arias is the director of the world's time. And she says keeping the world in sync is vital for a huge range of things, from the financial markets to sat-nav systems. It's a huge responsibility. We cannot have a bad day at the office. And, and uh, something that is very curious is that if we make a mistake on the time scale, we cannot go back to the past and repair the error.